happy Thursday. Today is actually Thursday today. Well, happy Thursday, folks. I just wanted to come on here live and kind of give you a little story that I think that I owe all of my followers, all of my subscribers, anybody that knows me, anybody that's supported my business, I owe y'all an explanation. So, if you notice, um, there's a change in my business that happened about a year or maybe probably more than that, probably two years now, there was a change in my business. For those of you that have been following me for quite a while, you know that I used to sell handbags. And recently, I have not been posting anything about handbags at all other than me teaching how to make handbags. Well, um, and if you're new to my Facebook, my Instagram, wherever you are watching this now, YouTube, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, but just a little backstory of my business. About, <clears throat> I would say about 2016, I'd I've created this gift that I did not know I had, and that was sewing. It was brought to me that I kind of wanted to learn how to sew, but I I, I wasn't um, sure of where to start. So I went on and bought me a sewing machine, and I got frustrated many, many times. I had to call my mom crying many, many times because I couldn't get it. But something in me would not allow me to quit. Something in me would not allow me to quit. And that thing that was in me was God, okay? God would not allow me to quit. So I continued to perfect my craft. And once I was able to get everything down and create a product, I started off with handbags. Um, the reason I picked handbags because my purpose of learning to sew because I wanted to create my own products. Um, and the reason I picked handbags was because it was a one-size-fit-all. That's something that I thought that I was going to be doing longevity. And throughout my career in the Navy, and once I retired, I was going to have me an own handbag business. I had this whole plan figured out. Now, as you are hearing me, you hear me say the word I. I had this plan figured out. I, 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 right? So I had this, this plan figured out. I was going to make handbags. So... That was not the vision that God had gave me. But guess what? I was being disobedient and I was continuing this vision that I had, right? So I began to open up this handbag business called Unique Fashion and Design, Unique Fad. If you all have noticed a change in my Instagram, it is not Unique Fad anymore. It is so unique. So I created this, uh, this Unique Fad, Unique Fashion and Design. My logo was, my um, slogan was, dress simple, let your bag speak. Now, did I, did I enjoy making handbags? Absolutely. Did I enjoy selling them? No. And I'm going to tell you the difference between me actually sewing these handbags and me selling them. And I try to, I try to express this to a lot of new sewers that are coming up. Please know what your gift is. Please, if you are a believer, um, if if you're not, please, I don't. I'm not trying. I'm not sitting here trying to sway you one way or the other, but I am a big believer in God, and um, you have to listen to what His vision is for your life. Now He gave me this vision to teach. Hey, I'm 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 giving you this gift because I want you to teach it, but I didn't want to teach it. I didn't want to teach it. All right, I wanted to sell. I did not. I don't. I didn't think I had it in me to teach. So for those that don't know me, I am also actively military. So I kicked and scream. I'm like, I'm not going to teach this gift. And then he gave me the gift of going to an instructor duty location in the military. And during this instructor duty, uh, during my time instructing in the military, basically what it taught me was how to be an instructor. Not only how to be an instructor, but how to build your own course, right? I never thought anything of it. I absolutely love instructing. And I kept hearing God saying, you know, I want you to perfect this craft because I want you to teach. There's people out there that need you to teach. Me still fighting it. All right. So after me not listening for a long time to God telling me to teach, my business began to fail. I began to hate sewing and making handbags. I began to drown in my orders all right um 
until the point where I just did not like sewing at all. I I love sewing, so I would sit here. I never, when I used to sew and make handbags, I never once made myself anything. I never once worn any of my handbags. I was making everything that I made, I needed to get it out, but my business was at a plateau, right? It was at a standstill because for one, this is not what God called me to do. So that's a failure already in its own. And for two, I felt like the orders were coming in so heavy to where I was drowning and I just dreaded making each of those handbags. I dreaded it, I dreaded it. Okay, but I still continue to push. I still continue to push and be disobedient and not listening. And at some point, you know, because my business, um, because the orders were getting backed up, um, you know, people want their stuff one time. So that's where my clientele started to de decrease. At first, when I first started, the clientele was up there because my handbags were amazing. They looked great everything so when you so the, the reason of me coming on here today and to teach to talk about this is because once i stopped selling handbags i never did like an announcement or anything like that i just decided to listen to god and just shift my business i never gave y'all any explanation of why so i wanted to come on here today and for one explain to y'all that i don't sell handbags anymore uh, and i probably won't go back to that at the moment unless I get called to do so but at the moment I'm loving teaching it has been an amazing experience I have a lot of free time like sewing handbags was was okay no it wasn't okay I'm not gonna lie it, it was horrible <laughs> I did not like it at all I took so much time away from my son right like my son would go on every single vendor event I'm talking about six and seven hours away i'm talking about i was vending these different spots and he would be there every single day all right so this is when i heard god loud and clear is when i got pregnant <laughs> he gave me my daughter and he told me you're not going to be able to do this with her and there was there was if i didn't quit then i would have definitely quit now because she is a firecracker there was there's no way i could do what i've done with her so I'm glad I'm, I said I say that to say I thank God that I wish I would have listened a long time ago, but it's okay because I'm glad that I finally was able to stop at that moment, build my business doing te teaching, and it just I just get that the satisfaction at the end of me teaching, like that satisfaction that I got when someone loved their handbag is a total different feeling. Right now I'm before I was given a product. That you like at the moment, but you're not going to like it forever because you're going to buy other handbags. But what I am instilling in these young kids, these young women, these young men. I don't have a lot of men clientele, so if you want to learn how to sew, please contact me. But all of these young people, older women that have never was, was never able to learn how to sew, I'm instilling something that's going to last them for the rest. That's going to last them forever. This skill does not just go away. It's like riding a bike. Yes, you may forget, but once you get that sewing machine in front of you, the button starts to click. Everything starts to fall back into place. So that satisfies me so much more than, oh, they got a handbag and they love it. So I'm on here to say today, if you are doing a craft for the money, you are doing it for the wrong thing. Um, I don't do this for the money, and I think that was one of the things that was in my my mind at the moment I want I need to make money because I want to retire and I don't want to work but I was doing it for the wrong thing you're going to fail so if you are a believer I want y'all to seek God and see where he's trying to lead you in your business because that's the only way you're going to succeed it's not about what you want to do it's about what he calls you to do with that particular gift all right so I just wanted to come on here and just kind of do a quick video about that. Um, if you want to learn how to sew, please reach out to me. I do not sew to sell. Everything that I make is for me and my kids or for me to um, teach on my online course. If I do sew, I don't really charge because, oh, I thought I heard somebody knocking on my door. I don't really charge um, for that, but... 
I don't do it for everybody. I don't like doing it, so I will tell you no. Um, but don't take it, don't take it to heart. It's just because that's not what I don't enjoy sewing for other people. I I will do it from time to time if it's something simple, but still don't ask me, okay? If I told you well, no before, don't ask me, please. I do it for, you know, people at my church or stuff like that, but but yeah, that's it. So I want to say thank y'all for your, for those that have supported me in the past. Thank you for those that are supporting me now. I'm sorry to inform those that were looking for handbags to come back. They probably won't at the moment. But I this, this sewing, like the teaching is going to stick around for quite a while. Stay tuned for classes coming up. Stay tuned for more uh tutorials gonna be uploading soon i love you guys i love you love you love you from the bottom of my heart i couldn't do this without y'all thank you so much for your support and i will keep in touch y'all have a great weekend if i don't see y'all or talk to y'all anymore of the weekend or of the week all right love y'all bye bye